Good morning, Pre-K. Today, we're going to sing some nursery rhymes that we know that are really fun. And we're going to review talking about characters. We're going to review talking about settings and sequencing. So retelling the story of how it happened. Because when you're in kindergarten, you're going to read lots of stories. And you're going to have to show your teacher that you understand what you read. So the first one we're going to sing is just a fun one. We're going to sing Five Little Monkeys, okay? So five little monkeys swinging on a tree. He's a Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snapped that monkey right out of that tree. There's five monkeys. And he ate one. How many monkeys are there? Four. Four little monkeys swinging on a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. We had four. And he ate one. How many are left? Three. Three little monkeys swinging on a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. We had three, he ate one. How many's left? Two. Two little monkeys swinging on a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. We had two, he ate one. How many's left? One. One little monkey swinging on a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left? Zero. No more monkeys. So if we're talking about parts of a story, who are the characters? Who are the characters in Five Little Monkeys? There were monkeys. And what was the other character? The alligator, right? So there's monkeys and they're alligators. What was the setting? Where were the monkeys? Were they in the house? Were they at the park? They were in a what? They were in a tree. They were swinging in a tree. And what happened in that story? They were teasing an alligator and the alligator snapped him up, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to sing two nursery rhymes, and we might sing another one, and you might write about it. Um, so let's start off easy. We're going to sing Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a walk. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Let's sing it one more time, because remember, we're going to talk about what we remember. So Humpty Dumpty sat on a walk. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So who was the character? Who were the characters in that story? Humpty Dumpty and who else? The king's horses and men, right? And what happened? Or what was he first? Where was the setting? Where was Humpty? Was he at school? Was he at the beach? Where was he? He was on a what? He was on a wall and he fell down and he broke, right? All the king's horses and they couldn't put him together again. So first Humpty Dumpty was on a wall, then he fell down and then they couldn't fix him. So Mr. Stewart has some pictures glued at the bottom. So here's Humpty falling. Here's the king's horses and men. Here's Humpty on the ground. And here's Humpty on the wall. If we were retelling this story, which would we say first? When we were telling our mommy what happened, would we say that Humpty fell down first? Would we say the king's horses came first? What came first? Humpty was on a wall. So I'm going to put this first. So Humpty was on a wall, and then what happened? Did the king's horses come, or did Humpty Dumpty fall? Humpty Dumpty fell. So first Humpty Dumpty was on a wall. Then Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And then what happened? Did they not put him together again? Or did the horses and men come? The horses and the men came. And finally, at the end, what happened? They couldn't put him together again. 
So, first, Humpty Dumpty was on a wall. Then, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Then, all the king's horses and all the king's men came. And finally, they couldn't put Humpty together again. Very good. Now we're going to sing another story. We're going to sing Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. And you know what? Nursery rhymes rhyme. So Jill and Hill rhyme. Down and crown rhyme. Water after kind of don't run. There's a lot of runs. Who are the characters in Jack and Jill? That's easy. Jack and Jill. The title has their name. So Jack and Jill went up a hill. And so then where were they? Think about the story. Jack and Jill went up a what? A hill. They were outside on a hill. So Jack and Joe are the characters, and they went up on a hill. So we're going to retell, and we're going to sequence what happened. So let's look at the pictures. Here's a picture of Jack falling down, and Jill, and the water's in the air. Here's a picture of just Jack falling. Here's a picture of Jack and Jill. And here is a pail of water. So when we tell the story, if we go, the first thing we say is, Jack and Jill went up a hill. So, which one would we draw? Which one should go first? Which one should go at the top? This one? This one? What about this one? Yeah, I think this one because they're going up a hill. So first, Jack and Jill went up a hill. To fetch a pail of water. So what comes next? Does Jack falling down come next? Does Jack and Jill falling down come next, or does the water pail come next? The water pail. So Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Then what happened? What happened next? Did Jack fall down, or did they both fall down? Jack fell down. Jack fell down. And finally, what happened? Jill came tumbling after. So if we're retelling the story, first, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Then, they got a pail of water. Next, Jack fell down. Jack's clumsy. And finally, Jill came tumbling after. So what you can do is, I want you to think of whatever your favorite nursery rhyme is. So if you like to sing... Five Little Ducks, or if you like to sing Five Little Pumpkins, or if you like to sing Five Green and Speckled Frogs, sat on a speckled duck eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. So think about who the characters were. So if you did Five Green and Speckled Frogs, who were the characters? The frogs. Where were they? Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. So they were on a log, and then they jumped in a pool. So there's two settings, a log on a pool. And then tell your mommy what happened. So there were frogs on a log, and they ate a bug, and then they jumped in the pool. So that's your task. Think of your favorite nursery rhyme and sing it to your mom and tell her who the characters are. Tell her what the setting is, and then tell her what happened in order. you got to put them in order. If you sing Humpty Dumpty, you wouldn't say, they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again, and he was on a wall. No, you got to say Humpty Dumpty was on a wall, and then he fell off, and then they came, but they couldn't put him together again. Does that sound good? Do you think you can do that? That's a very kindergarten assignment. Okay, I missed you very much. Bye.